Thanks for coming, um, and thanks for inviting me to the um, TEDx Salon event. Um, um, so my name is Calvin, and um, I recently graduated from the University of Surrey uh, about six months ago. And um, I studied um, hospitality and tourism management, which um, I chose because I love hospitality, I love food, I love f and tourism stuff. And uh, before I came to um, Surrey, I actually live in, I used to live in Australia, and then um, so I'm sorry, it's a really good um, hospitality course, which is the reason that I decided to come. Um, so these are stuff that we learn at the course. Uh, it's not just about like theory, it's also practical stuff as well. For example, we um, host our own event at Lexa Restaurants as um, one of our modules in our final year. Um, it's like a, a dinner event. Uh, you learn about like stuff like marketing, sales, how to promote the events, how you can improve the events and make the experience better for all guests, which I really love because Instead of just studying like theories and papers and books, we actually get to do stuff that we learn a lot about, like how to do things. Um, as one of our modules, we also went to, can you guess which country that is? Nice, can you guess? Yeah, so um, it was um, our tourism theory in practice module, which we went to Morocco for eight days for, um, for research. Um, um, so, um, that picture you see on the right um, is a bakery. Um, so we actually visit some locals to see how um, tourism and the tourism development affects their daily lives. For example, these um, businesses um, were hugely affected by tourists because they are like a huge part of their income. Um, and we went to like visit some local markets, um, companies, um, and we um, visit the market and see um, how tourist behavior affect their daily life. Um, outside my degree, um, I was actually part of the um, student union exec team um, in my second year, which um, we were elected to be the officers in my first year, which um, certainly starts actually happening soon. So I um, would we'll definitely encourage people to get involved, not just as like candidates, but also get involved for, like campaigning, voting, getting involved like, in different ways. And um, I was elected to be the um, international officer in my second year, but um, unfortunately that position no longer exists. Um, because it changed structure about last year, I think. But um, I think it was a great experience to get involved in the student union because there's so much more you could do and so much more the university could offer you outside your degree, like getting involved in other societies, events, activities, stuff like that. And um, throughout the experience of being um, um, on the um, exact team in my second year, um, we learned about how to be a leadership, um, be a leader. Um, all the skills you learn, organization skills, time management. We have like weekly meetings every week to talk about how we can make the university experience better for everyone, um, how we could enhance the student experience, how we could benefit you guys, what we could do to make your life here better. Um, I was also involved uh, with um, different societies and clubs, which I also encourage you to do because you, you are here only here for like three or four years. Once you're gone, then these experiences gone. I mean, you won't be able to join us. This many societies and clubs while you're outside working. Um, there's so many opportunities for you guys to join different activities and events while you're at Surrey. So um, definitely, I would definitely recommend that. Um, I was a member of like a few societies um, like Photosoc, Slack TV, Surf, Judo. And then I kind of regret doing that one because I get beat up every week. So I only joined like for a few months and I quit. Sorry. And um, these are the other societies um, that I were a committee of. So um, they're like Gospel Choir, Food and Wine, Stack Magazine, Do More, Fundering, and Hoscon as well. So um, if um, how many of you are part of a society, like a member, and how many of you are committees? So you probably knew what, know what I'm talking about. Like being a committee um, definitely benefits a lot. Like you learn so much more than just being a member. Like you learn about how to manage the whole team, how to organize events, promotion, how to bring students together, um, and um, these are stuff that you learn, um, they will definitely, um, doesn't have just benefits your student life, but also what you do, like career options, like enhance your CV. Um, you can learn so much more from just from a degree. And these are some stuff that I did, just some funny things that I did um, with society, like singing on stage, making pasta at the hotel, serving in Italy, and selling tickets for um, a food and wine society event. And um, in my placement year, um, how many of you are going to do placement year, have done placement year? Put your hands up. 
and how many of you um, did not regret it? Yeah, um, basically um, what I'm trying to say is um, getting a year of experience of working before you graduated is, um, I would definitely recommend it because um, yes, the, your, the, your degree could help you like find knowledge and stuff in the industry that you're interested in, but working in the industry for another year could definitely enhance your um, employability. Um, you can learn so much more from just from books and papers and exams. Um, for example, um, I work at the uh, Langham Place Hotel in Hong Sorry, Langham Place Hotel in Hong Kong in six months. I work in the front office, so um, I learn about like greeting guests, like giving them directions, how it can be helpful with them if they have any problems, because you need to have to solve them. Um, I work at the media design company for three months, and we learn, and the um, an event agency called All Uniplan um, for another three months, and we learn. I learn about so much about like marketing, events management, and um, sales as well. So that's something that you can learn just sitting at the lecture theater and reading from books. So I would definitely recommend. Um, during placement year. Now, um, and I finally graduated in um, July last year, and that's actually a picture I took um, right after um, our last exam. So we got like champagnes ready, and and here I am graduated. So yeah, that's been um, and yeah, that's probably the part that you're most interested in. Um, so um, Shushi Lab, it's a business that I started um, after I graduated. So I graduated in July, and this opens in October. But it takes a lot longer than that to plan the um, opening of the business. Um, so basically, I was in my final year, so it's 2015. Yeah, so I was in about November. I was kind of looking for jobs online, like marketing, sales, which is kind of what I want to do. But there wasn't one that particularly I particularly want to do. Like I was really interested in. So I thought about why not start my business. Like, would it be possible be for me to start my own business like right now? Because ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to start my own business. But I wasn't sure what or when. Like it could be food, it could be like retail, shop maybe. Then it struck me like in my final year, like why not sushi? Because I love sushi. It's my favorite food. I love Japanese food. I've been to Japan like five times already. I love the culture. So um, when I thought about what I want to do, I instantly thought about sushi. So yeah, um, I started planning in about November in 2015. I um, started looking for a premises in Guildford. Unfortunately, it took me quite a while to find one because it's quite a small town, and um, there was literally like zero space for restaurants available in Guildford. Um, there's space for retail shop, but not for restaurants. So um, it took me until June, like so it's like six months later, that I actually found one available for rent, and um, I made an offer, and um, I beat the other competitors who um, also made an offer for the place, and um, the um, landlord picked me, so I got the place, and we signed the lease in September. So it's three months later, because there's so many like documents, like solicitors, lawyers, like have some documents to sign. So it took a long time to like actually get a lease signed. Although I, um, my offer was accepted in June, but we only I only got the keys in September, and um, we finally opened on the 29th of October. So that's a month after we um, signed the lease. So um, that's a bit of um, some photos of the um, restaurants. You can see like the theme and the style of um, the restaurants, like we really fun, playful, and um, Colorful. That's why we want to make the experience um, and the environment really colorful for for, for people, customers. Some more pics. And we just started doing um, events, um, catering as well. So um, that definitely um, bring another side of the business um, to like to show people that what else we could do, um, not just like eat and take away, but also events. And finish the um, PowerPoint slides. This is an. Um, picture of the um, inside of the restaurant and like I said it takes a lot of effort and time to get this restaurant up and running and ready and like so much time like so sleepless nights like all the paperwork um, marketing promotion designing stuff it was a lot of work but I think it was totally worth it I mean we opened so it was a Saturday that we opened on and the night before I did not sleep at all I think I took maybe took two, 20, 20 minutes nap maybe and I, I, I was um, at the restaurants until 5 in the morning because the place was a mess the night before um, we opened. And um, I finished painting the wall and like drawing the menu on the wall. Um, I, went to, I went back to my house at 5 in the morning, took a shower and went back. And, um, and um, we opened at 11 when the place like, looked amazing. So um, this is what it looks like at half 11 when we opened. And I will show you a picture of um, what it looks like 12 hours before we opened that. 
So yeah, it's a lot of effort and time that I put in, and um, I'm just really happy that it worked out. And um, I hope that my presentation and speech find um, you will find inspiring and uh, find me if you have any questions. Thanks. Okay.